Oh, here I'm in the backyard. Nice, I guess. Hey, found this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a nice little uh, hey, found this juice. I was doing the Prince special, a little thing on Prince. Yeah, hey, yeah, the purple. Like that yesterday. I think technically, I guess it's still, you know, Prince was born at uh, 6, 17, something like that in, in, the, in the evening uh, in uh, Minneapolis, wherever it was. And uh, so we're not through with a 24 hour cycle yet because it's something in the morning right now. What time is it? I forget. I was up really early. <coughs> so anyway, yeah, and so nah, as I do, so I got this juice. I just picked it up. I didn't get it for Prince. I just picked it up to use it. I didn't realize it. It's an anti organic antioxidant force. But it has pomegranate, tart cherries, red grape, purple apple, uh, cranberry, and blueberry. I'm going to get more of this. I think this is going to be my new addiction. No, I, should not. I, don't, I don't get addiction. I do everything in moderation. Huh. That's not why I'm talking back here. Back here here. So I'm not a junior work here. It was quite a little while I got to do this earlier. Anyway, uh, I've been reading Krishnamurti. I just want to share something with you real quick. Uh, before I get back into the fray, I'll explain. I got to do Krishnamurti for a little while here. Now, the book is called On Freedom. By the way, uh, shout out to Zoe Williams of the, you know, So What Show, whatever he's doing that in California. Um, through him, listening to him, I decided, let me check out some Krishnamurti. So I did. And so I'm gonna be reading this for the rest for the uh, next couple of weeks that I'm here. You, you read it, you know, you read it in sections, you do it quietly, you know, no, no, no. you know how to do it. Then you can spend the rest of your time, you know, checking out the you know the, the Instagrams and the YouTubes and the ways of happy to find out, you know, what's happening in the world. Cause you don't want to listen to the MSNBCs and the and the Foxes and the CNNs of the world. No, get your information from where you get where where, where real people are talking. Not these people who got stuff and then they're gonna just tell you what to do or say, Oh, you shouldn't do that. They're not in nobody's world. They're in their own world. It's like, it's like the police. The police are in their own world. They know nobody relates out. Come on. Anyway, I just want to read this little thing right here. I got it. Okay. Freedom comes into being. It cannot be sought after. It comes into being when there is no fear. When there is love in your heart. You cannot have love and think in terms of Hindu, Christian, Muslim, you know, all of this stuff. Freedom comes into being only when the mind is no longer seeking security for itself, either in tradition or in knowledge. Ooh, that's heavy. Ooh, let's, let's keep on going. Don't worry, I'm not going to break it down. You got your own mind. Oh, we do. All right, let's keep on going. A mind that is crippled with knowledge or burdened with knowledge is not a free mind. A mind that is crippled with knowledge, burdened with knowledge, is not a free mind. The mind is only free when it is capable of meeting life at every moment. Meeting the reality that every incident that that uh, every thought, that every experience reveals, and that revelation is not possible when the mind is crippled in the past. Wow. I'll let you think about that. In fact, let me just read that last, that last little two sentences again. The mind is only free when it is capable of meeting life at every moment meeting the reality that every incident, that every thought, that every experience reveals. And that revelation is not possible when the mind is crippled by the past. Okay, let me just say this. I come from a tradition of, uh, well, I, I, I've been exposed to uh, w, well, BAI, uh, Pacifica Radio. We have this thing. Um, uh, basically, uh, well, a couple of things. You know, you, you you can never lie on air, knowingly lie on air, and you no know, fight. You know, you can't physically fight. But one of the things we also is, it's like a, a a tenet, which makes, uh, or at least when I'm I'm talking about BAI that I know, you know, and I don't want to dwell in the past. And it's this. Let me go back. When I was uh, doing an internship, I actually have a degree in 
<laughs> communication and radio and communication. But I was doing internship in uh, New Brunswick. I, and I purposely, they put, I was uh, assigned to the copy department. You know, you write a- adverts, whatever have you. But when I got that internship, I said, look, I want to go out with the salesman. You know, so I want to see where, you know, how they do the thing. Then we meet the client. Then you have to write for that client. So I wanted to go through that process. I just want to sit there and get the, and, and then you have to write something, right? So I said, today, let me do that. Of course. Look, when you're a student, <laughs> you, can do, you can do anything. I, I can't explain it right now. So I went, so, um, so the, the salesman, I went out with the salesman, um, but I, I, it's weird, I have to give you this stereotype, this is like, um, oh, that's not my boy, I'll turn this thing off, I'm dead. that's one of those pesky, uh, what are you, you know, those people that try to get you to do stuff over the phone, okay, this is no serious, this is like 1970, maybe, Three somewhere around there, New Brunswick, New Jersey. It's a it's the it's the big radio station there, AS, AM and FM. Anyway, so this guy comes out. You know, I'm a young black guy, and I had, back then you know had that bumpy look, you know, clean shape and that that all that stuff. Okay, <laughs> the guy, I swear, you, a little portly, right? Cigar, maybe maybe that's just my story, but any car. We go to his car, and um, and before when we get in the car, he said, "Look, before we go, let me tell you something." Here's what we do. We tell them what they're getting. We give it to them. And then we tell them what they got. Think about that. Now, when I got to BAI, and when I was doing my thing, what our thing is, you don't necessarily tell them what you're going to give them. Not necessarily. You might. You give it to them. And you never tell them what they got. In other words, everybody has their own mind. In fact, I just read this thing about freedom. I said it to you. I can sit here and tell you, eh, interpret it, my interpret it. What does that have to do with you? You haven't gone through the same experiences I've gone through. I mean, you, <laughs> you haven't, you know, you haven't gone from the best desert to the, you know, eating the, in the, eating the peyote and going to the mountaintop and, and mm, you haven't done that, you know. <laughs> you haven't been in the jungles of Belize, you know, Congo and the condor in the wild. That's going to change your perception of things. You see what I'm saying? You haven't, you understand. So, so you, inter- you when you interpret something, it's from your thing, you know. So if you're just sitting in a cave all the time, I saw, I saw a guy in a cave. I'm sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm going up. I saw when I was in India, I'm, 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 Way up there, you know, <laughs> it was <laughs> the Himalayan mountains. Anyway, it's this little thing. Anyway, I walk. I was walking. They take the tourist bus. They go down, and there was this little cave. So I, said, hmm. so I peeped in the cave. There was this guy there. <laughs> there was this guy there, you know, with the with the, the soil orange robe, and he was like in a daze, he's just like this. And I walk in, I peeped in, and he looks at me. He was smoking something, and he offers it to me. I said, No, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. I just wanted to find if you were right. He just looked back. He kept on going. This is super interesting for a couple of reasons. One, when I came to visit him, he offered me something. He had nothing, but he offered me what he had. For me, that man was free. He didn't want nothing. I don't know what was in his head. I don't know in his mind. You know? So uh, I'm just I'm, I'm just interpreting. I'm I'm putting that together, but I'm not telling you that's what you're thinking because remember that's my experience. You have to figure out what fears and all the rest of that stuff that they're talking about. That you got it. You understand what I'm saying. You have to understand because you are understanding people, and you're understanding me right now. Me being T from the past and taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>